it's as easy as setting and forgetting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy Jane, a being of Earth just like you are. I'm here to help you guys raise your vibrations and become the best version of yourself. Today, we are talking about how to use crystals to calm ourselves and manage our anxiety. So we're going to be talking about different calming crystals and those properties, how to use them, and uh, yeah, you know, how to just become one again and those types of things. So without further ado, let's flow right on into it. The first crystal I want to talk to you guys about is Lepilotolite. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing these correctly. I'm not a good pronouncer outer, but I will have the words around here. It's a very pretty crystal, a light purple. It has visible different um, layers, different layers. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So the thing about Lepilotolite is that it is a mood stabilizer, it is a natural sleep aid, and it dissipates negative energy and vibrations. So this is definitely a good one to help you sleep and get rid of those negative vibrations. The next crystal I want to talk to you guys about is a very popular one, Amethyst. You know, a purple, a very pretty, right? Lots of uses for this, such as peace, harmony, energy, intuition, so many different ways to use Amethyst. Anything having to do with the third eye, opening that third eye chakra, things like that, definitely good to use your Amethyst. The next crystal I want to talk to you guys about is Fluorite. Now, Fluorite comes in a couple different um, colors. You'll have this nice green that I have here or some lovely purples as well. Um, fluorite is really good for allowing new energies and new information to come and opening your mind to understanding that information. It encourages relaxation and clarity and it is also good for peace and harmony just like amethyst is. So black tourmaline is the next one I want to talk to you guys about. It's very interesting. These different um, columns kind of you can see. It's a very interesting formation. Black tourmaline is really great for grounding. It reduces overthinking and brings about prosperity. Now black tourmaline also because it's black is going to absorb those negative energies and disperse those as well. If you're interested in the black tourmaline or the lepidite, I actually sell those in my crystal shop. Um, I'll leave a link for that down below in the description if you're interested in those. The next crystal I want to talk to you guys about you're going to definitely be familiar with as well. It is rose quartz, beautiful pink hued quartz. Um, it is all about those love vibrations, self-love, family love, all kinds of love, which obviously is going to help to reduce those stress hormones and calm yourself. All right, guys, citrine is the next crystal I want to talk to you guys about. It is also a great mood booster. It promotes creativity. It also deflects those negative vibrations as well as nightmares. Nobody likes nightmares, so citrine is definitely a good one to have by your bed. I also have this one in my shop as well if you are interested. The last crystal I want to talk to you guys about is aquamarine. It also is going to dispel those negative vibrations as well as promote joy and peace. So this is definitely a good, good one to get rid of those negative vibrations and boost your vibrations into those high frequency vibrations. Alrighty guys, now let's talk about how to actually use these crystals to calm ourselves in our anxieties. The first thing you want to do before you start to use your crystals is cleanse them of the past vibrations and energy collected within it. You can do this by smudging or with moon water or using selenite crystal. I do have a video on that here of how to charge and cleanse your crystals because after you cleanse your crystal, you are then going to charge your crystal, raise those vibrations back up to their good and fullest highest potential so that they are help, able to help you in your next endeavor. Now that your crystals have been cleansed and charged, they are now ready to be used. There are a few different ways to transfer the energy into your body from the crystal, whether it's holding it in the palm of your hand and visualizing the energy going from the crystal to you into your body. That would go along really well with meditation. Hold them in your palm and 
visualize their energy going from the crystal to you raising your vibrations and releasing all the cluttered energy in your body. You can also use them during meditation by just placing them on your body. If you like to lay down during meditation, you can place a couple of crystals on your body that you want to use. A really easy way to use crystals is just by carrying them around in your pocket. Today I have in my pocket selenite. I like to use that to just keep my energy recharged and other energies away. I also have been carrying around fluorite with me today. This one that I'm using for this video fluorite to help me absorb that new information and keep everything clear. So carrying crystals in your pocket, just those small ones are a really simple way, as well as uh, bracelets, jewelry, necklace, rings. This is a hematite ring here. Hematite is also a really great crystal. It absorbs those negative energies and actually with a ring, um, if you don't cleanse it enough, then when it absorbs so much energy that ring, this ring is actually going to break in get rid of that negative energy for me get it as far away from me you know that's how it it's time for me to go this energy is ready to go so jewelry is an awesome awesome simple way to again place it and forget it i had mentioned that citrine is good for deflecting nightmares so again citrine is good to put on your nightstand uh amethyst wood also is good for that intuition and those good dreams setting crystals anywhere else around your house if you have big crystal geodes those are really great to just set in your living room or in your dining room or somewhere where you live and spend a lot of time and you can just naturally absorb those vibrations of it whenever you're around it the last way to use your crystals to calm yourself that I want to share with you guys is by charging your water with crystals. So pouring a glass of water, putting a crystal in there and letting the water absorb the energy or just placing it uh, next to the glass of water. If it's a crystal that's going to dissolve in that water such as selenite, don't put that in there. But a really fun way to do that is with a water bottle that like um, there's all kinds of uh, air bubbles in here but is to um, um, get a water bottle that actually has a crystal in there. This is a Soji uh, crystal, pure crystal energy water bottle. It is glass and the actual crystal is touching the actual water, which is one of the things I really like about this Soji water bottle is that it's not, the crystal is not like in something and that the crystal is not actually touching the water. The crystal is actually touching this water, which is, in my opinion, important to me other people it doesn't bother them that the crystal is not touching the actual water and that's fine that's up to you in your choice your your thing but i do recommend this water ball i really like it the top comes off the bottom comes off and then the actual crystal is in this little plastic thing that um unscrews and then that's how you take the crystal out and how you clean your whole bottle so it's really great i really love this water bottle Amethyst, again, good for peace, energy, harmony, and intuition. <clears throat> really great. And it comes with this little case. Thank God it does. So Soji Energy Water Bottle, definitely, definitely get that. If you're interested, this is not a promotional video, but... I really like this water bottle and thought you guys might like it too. They also have some other cool products on their website, so check them out. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. Actually, there was one more crystal I wanted to share with you guys, and that is just clear quartz crystal. This is a really great crystal of just amplifying energy, amplifying other crystals that you are using. So if you use this with your other crystals, you will be actually amplifying that energy and giving it an extra boost to help you calm down. So the big points of today is to make sure that you're picking a crystal that has the properties that you're looking for. Make sure you cleanse them, charge them, and then either place them in your pocket, wear them as jewelry, or place them around your home charge water with them. If you have any questions or other ideas of how to use these crystals, please ask them down below in the comment section. If you want to learn more about cleansing and charging your crystals, I do have a video here for you. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to program your crystals and give them another big boost of energy. And until next time, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so that we can reconnect every single week and learn and grow together and become the best versions of ourselves. I can't wait to see you guys next week. I hope love, light, and energy find the way to you guys. Bye. Excuse
excuse me, just burping in the middle, and creativity in that is incorrect. Leppy Lola Delight Lep Lep Lola Lep 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 Lep